Welcome back guys to Dunder and Lightning. Today we are going to do bourbon. I know you've all been waiting for this for a while and we're going to be using the new Yellow Angel yeast. So I've bought myself a big 20 kilo bag of cracked corn. I've bought myself 5 kilos of malted wheat and 5 kilos of malted barley. Just the base malt and um, just a base malt, really. Uh, it's not anything special. I just wanted to go with something simple. This is my first time doing a legitimate bourbon style mash, which is gonna be great, I hope. Uh, I bought myself a big drum, big 144 litre drum to be fermenting in. If you don't know what happened to my last fermenter, you can check up here my last video uh, and see what mess I made with that. So, no more talking. Let's get cracking. The corn you get from the feed store is gonna be fairly chunky, so make sure you grind it up into a fairly nice powder for that yeast to penetrate through. You get then gonna have to boil a ton of water. I'm doing about 60 to 70 liters of boiling water. Um, and I've ground up all 25 kilos of the corn into a decent uh, powder there, as you can see. I'm gonna chuck all that into the barrel along with the 60 to 70 liters of boiling hot water. And I'm gonna let that sit for a fair while. The barley I'm using today is just a normal uh, Pilsner barley. It was cheap from my local store. I didn't wanna to spend too much on barley this time around because I don't know what's going to happen with this angel yeast. It's unknown to me right now, so I didn't want to spend too much money on it. So I went with the Pilsner yeast and I also went with a malted wheat. I've gone five kilos of malted wheat and five kilos of malted barley. I was playing around with uh, the ratios before and it just came in five kilo bags, so I just said, stuff it, I'll just chuck it in. Yeah, so I've chucked all that in there. I'll mix it around, I'll let that sit for a while, and then when we come back, I'll hydrate the yeast and I'll chuck it in and that should be good to go. After about 12 hours, it came down to 35 degrees temp, so good for pitching. I've hydrated the yeast using a bit of the mash I scooped out of the barrel, and I've put it in there with 58 grams of yellow angel yeast. I know that's a fair amount. We had some questions when I did the rice vodka. It's not the amount of yeast you need, it's the amount of enzymes that come with the yeast to help break down the corn and the starches in your mash. So that's what we want, okay? That's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for enough enzymes that comes with the yellow angel yeast to convert the starches, okay? Just so there's no confusion. What we're going to do now is we're going to let this sit, ferment away, and we'll be back on distilling day. One eternity later. All right, Dunderheads, it's been two weeks, and a little mash here has fermented out. I'm currently racking it into my 50 liter boiler. Uh, it tastes quite nice, this mash. It's nice and fruity. Uh, seems to be a little bit of alcohol in there, which is what we want. Don't know how much though. Uh, might be five, maybe six <clears throat> percent. Can't be sure until we run it. And basically, it went with no problems for two weeks straight. And we're here now racking it off. So, one thing I wanted to say is that when I hydrated the yeast to put in here, it gave off the same funk that came up in the tails of my rice vodka which was the first video I've done. Uh, if you haven't had a look, have a look up here. It's it's quite similar to the, the funk I, I found in the tails of the rice vodka. So it's interesting to see if this is gonna turn out the same. When this started fermenting, it smelt really vomit-like. Really, really vomit-like. Really off cheese. It stank. Uh, after about the fourth day, it kind of dissipated and it kind of went back to smelling like a normal mash fermentation. So we'll chuck it in here. We'll get the stripping run on the go 
and we'll get it done. Just a bit of a side note, if you want to know what to do with your spent grain, give it to your chickens if you've got some. They, uh, they'll get a bit hammered. <laughs> Alright guys, it's uh, Spirit Run Day. Oh yeah. We're running it nice and slow at the moment. What I wanted to run through with you is what I've done with my pot still. I ended up with 20 litres of 22% uh, stripping. Uh, out of the two stripping runs I did, I did two stripping runs of 50 litres down to 20 litres of 22%. Uh, and then I had 20 litres left over of mash and I didn't want that to go to waste. So what I've done is I've chucked the 20 litres of 22% in here, along with the 20 litres of mash, gives me 40 litres to run a full full run. So what I've done here in the column of my still is I've put a little scrubber down here, not, not tightly packed, and I've put one up here. Uh, and that's just to clean it up as the run goes on. I'm running it nice and slowly at the moment. As you can see, Probably a little slow at the moment. I might just speed that tiny bit up. Um, and we're gonna see how we go. At the moment, ooh, sorry. At the moment, it's smelling quite nice. And it smells quite uh, banana-y, sweet. It smells really, really good. So we'll keep this rolling and uh, see you next time. <laughs> Guys, at the end of all of that, we have five liters of 55% bourbon sitting now on three staves of roasted and toasted American oak and smells bloody good. It's only been sitting on that for about 12 hours at the moment, so I only chucked them in this morning. I've had a couple of nips of this this afternoon and it's pretty damn good. I do want to say, however, <clears throat> as an overall process, my heat belt crapped out I think about halfway through the fermentation and I've just left it so whether or not that had effect on the overall yield at the end I don't know I haven't done the maths in relation to this recipe and what I should have expected to get I'm probably going to do the same recipe down the track in ideal conditions I'm going to go overboard and make sure that everything is correct and we'll see if we get a, a better result or a different result. I use 25 kilos of corn, five kilos of malted barley and five kilos of malted wheat. And let me tell you, it smells and tastes better than anything I've done before, better than any of the essences and the wood chips, any of the UJSSMs, any of that stuff. I I think I said at the start of this video, I've never done a full grain mash before <clears throat> where I boil it and all that type of stuff. I haven't done it. So I don't know the differences, but I have tasted this and it's really good. After about six to 12 months on some wood, I think it's going to be amazing. So that's my opinion of it. Overall, the angel yeast does as it says which I'm pretty happy about. I've got three kids. I don't have time to do the boiling and the cooking and all that stuff. I don't have the room in my house to do that either. I do have time to grind up some grain, chuck it in a barrel and then chuck some yeast in over the top and get what I think is a pretty damn good product. So yeah, that's, that's my review. It's really nice. I've had it straight. Uh, straight on its own this afternoon 
And I've also had it with a bit of Coke because that's normally how I have my bourbon. But uh, I did have it straight and it's really smooth. I, I'm pretty sure I've made really good cuts, which is fantastic. Um, and yeah, so if you've got any any uh, questions in relation to it, comment in the section below. Click the subscribe, guys. I just would like to say over the last three months, I've uh, been getting quite an influx of people, which is great. I'm up to 120 odd subscribers. If you like my stuff, keep clicking. Um, after my garbage that I'm talking to you here, head over to the subscribe, click. I'm also gonna be running a short cocktail video just after this is what I put some of this stuff in this afternoon um, as a little bit of an old fashion, if you like it. But other than that, guys, I will see you next time. We are going to do a review versus recipe where I review some essences and tee it up with a recipe. So if you would like to see me do that, if you've got any ideas on what liqueur you would like to see me do, comment in the section below and I'll see you next time. And for this bourbon, we're going to do an orange and rosemary old fashioned. We're gonna need some bourbon, a twig of rosemary, an orange, some ice, and some Angostura bitters. We're gonna start off by putting two little tablespoons of sugar into the glass with the bourbon. We're gonna chuck the rosemary in there as well. We're gonna muddle all that up along with some zest of an orange, a couple of drabs of the Angostura bitters, and then, then chuck in the ice and mix it around. And then you have a nice wintry drink. I sometimes add a little bit more orange juice from the orange sometimes if I don't want it too strong. But other than that, this is a cracking little cocktail. You can sit back and sip on your little angel yeast bourbon with over the winter time. So enjoy guys. Click subscribe.